Hi, I'm Meg Tucker and I'm in love. <laughs> we are at Oodles of Doodles. Oh, a doodle breeder just on the edge of Red Deer in central Alberta. I don't think there are words. I wasn't prepared for today. I'm in the midst of 27 doodles and this place is unbelievable. Built by the loving Candace and Bill Farrell. We are spending the day today with unbelievable doodles and we want to tell you just how magical this place truly is. I think they have 27, but they might only have five after I leave. Right, little mama? Come on inside, let's take a look. This is Candace Farrell. Candace, oh boy, do you have a dream <laughs> job or what? Yes, I think I do. Okay, so yeah. tell everyone what made you become a breeder of doodles? Um, well, I've always been involved with dogs. Um, I used to raise and show rough collies. Okay. Um, quite a few years ago. Okay. And then we just heard about the doodle thing and we got Peaches. Peaches is almost 13, so she was our very first Hello, doodle. Hello, Peaches. And so she kind of started this crazy thing. Who am I holding? Because they're not named yet. They're not named. So this is Yellow Girl. Yellow Girl. She's wearing a little yellow collar and she's how old? She's six weeks. She's six weeks yeah. and she has a lot to say. She's the right one for Meg mm -hmm. Tucker to hold. Yeah. And this, what kind of doodle is so this? So these are mini F1Bs. So oh, typically the litter oh, is between 12 and 25 pounds. Okay. Um, some little guys in here might be even a little bit smaller. Okay. So if you'll notice, we switched puppies because there are 27 <laughs> here. So Candace, what type of doodle am I holding? Are we holding? So these are little mini F1Bs. So these are teeny tiny. So these two that we have are the smallest in the litter. So they're probably gonna be 10 or 12 pounds. <sighs> Typically here we breed either the first generation cross, which is um, half golden retriever and half poodle. Okay. Or we breed the second, which is, they're called F1Bs. So F1Bs. Three quarters poodle and one quarter golden retriever. And I saw on your website, what's your website again? Oodles Oodles of doodles doodles dot com. Dot com. Yeah. What's a teddy bear doodle? So a teddy bear refers to the type of golden retriever in the background. Okay. So if you have a retriever that's got English or European lines, they're stockier and blockier. Okay. So that makes more of a teddy bear. Look. Okay. Yeah. This is the dog that's hypoallergenic. Yeah. Is that uh, true? No, it's not. <laughs> Did you hear it's that? It's not true. Okay. However, um, if you purchase a puppy that has at least three quarters poodle, Okay. They're great for people with allergies. So we've oh. sold lots of them to people with even severe allergies. Okay. Um, and they've been fine. It's very okay. rarely, I think we've maybe had two cases where we've had a puppy come back. We have nine puppies. Oh, and this is the team. This is partially the team. Yes. Is that right? Okay, yeah. so Candace, you're the owner, the creator with your husband, Bill. I'm Barb McMaster and I was here in just about the beginning of this business and I just recently retired, but oh. you can never oh. get enough No, you can't. <laughs> you can't. I'm Tracy. Yep. And I'm the manager. <laughs> Lovely fluff balls. Oh, uh, so you spend Great. literally every day with them? Yeah. Oh, you're, I want this dog. <laughs> I'm Taryn and I'm a puppy ranger. Hi, Taryn. What's it like coming to work every day? Awesome. I mean, <laughs> this is kind of everyone's dream, isn't it? Yes. What do they like as a personality? So, you've kind of got the best of both worlds because the Golden Retriever is kind of a happy-go-lucky family dog. Um, and the poodle is really companion oriented and really smart. So right. when you mix the two of them together, you get kind of like a golden retriever in a clown suit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to so you, they're social mama. and they're happy and they're fun mm -hmm. and they really, really love to be with their people. 
something that's really, really important for you that the this is not a kennel. Right, so we want it to feel like a home for the puppies so that when they do go to their new homes, they're comfortable. The, mm -hmm. the noises are familiar, the textures, that, the flooring, that kind of thing. So, um, and we like, we just like it to be comfortable. Yes, That's tell us about the Guardian program. I think this is a wonderful thing that everyone should be doing. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we place all of our breeding dogs in homes, in approved homes as puppies. Okay. Um, for the first year, year and a half, they kind of go back and forth so that they feel like they have two homes, two oh, families. Nice. Okay. So that when they come here to have their puppies, they're comfortable, they know us. So they, they come here to have their puppies and raise them and then they go back to their guardian home. That's and amazing. And then once the contract's fulfilled, um, then we have them spayed or neutered and they stay with their family. So okay. we're not having to rehome older dogs. We don't have dogs living in kennels. They're all pets. They're all well loved. They're all lost. Stay close to Oodles of Doodles on Facebook as well as the website oodlesofdoodles.com. As I say this, oh, my toes are getting licked. That's very funny. <laughs> um, but Candice, we just wanted to say thank you so much. This has been truly unbelievable. I, I am in love and what you're doing is just incredible. Thank you.